Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are going to be reviewing the new Apple Watch Series 5. Now, I've never owned an iWatch before, so this should be interesting. And I tried to do my due diligence ahead of time. That way, I don't waste your time. Alright, so from watching other videos, it looks like, you know, people get all, like, fancy with the, un with the unboxing part. And obviously, we're going to do the same thing. Um, hopefully, I don't botch this up. Apparently, you're supposed to, like... Alright, so you got some fancy, you know, here in the box. Band right there. Woo! Um, we didn't get to get to use our knives over here, which is kind of sad, but you know, it is what it is. You know, you win some, you lose some. Here I am getting distracted with the band. But, let's take it out anyways. Now, I specifically, um, got the 44 millimeter space gray black band with the 44 millimeter display like I just said and I just got the GPS one alright so the reason that I just got the GPS model is because the cellular model is just a total waste of money in my opinion um, and I believe it even comes with a monthly cost of ten dollars which is stupid. Um, and I think the range on the watch and the phone goes actually pretty far. Some people were saying that, you know, they'll be like upstairs, it'll be working more than fine with their phone downstairs. So I think that, you know, it's a nice thing to think about, but in reality, I think it's a terrible feature and a waste of money with, you know, the fixed cost of buying it along with the monthly cost. You know, you've got a we all have our phones on us all the time, so I don't really think it's worth it, in my opinion. But hey, think what you want. Alright, so, now I'm going to struggle until we get this together. This is fun. Now, I didn't say it before, I've never owned an Apple um, iWatch, so this will be my first one. Um, obviously... One of the biggest features is that it's got an, it's got an always on function, meaning that, you know, apparently people before had to like, you know, lift their like hands up in order for it to detect and turn on. So this one apparently is going to be on all the time. Now, something that you might be asking yourself is, well, if it's on all the time, isn't the battery going to be trash? And I think they found a way around it. Um, I think Apple's promising an 18 hour lifespan on this watch and how they're doing that is it pretty much goes into some form of like sleep low battery mode um, and it's really just you know kind of going low brightness and like showing you the time so I think that's how they were able to accomplish that um, we're not going to set up our watch in Japanese uh, that's for sure all right yep we're going to do English oh yeah we are not from Afghanistan I've never heard of some of these countries. That just shows how ignorant I am in geography. United States. All right. Now, just another thing to cover. Um, if you are thinking about buying a Apple Watch, it only works with iPhones. So if you've got a Samsung, you're like, hey, I want to try it out. It's not going to work for you. You need an iPhone to set it up and use it. So, most people probably know that, but just to clarify, uh, right now it's giving me some weird, like, come on, focus, focus on it, whatever, I'm looking at, like, the galaxy or something, it's going to tell me the meaning to life. Ooh, here it is. Okay, so, once you uh, have your phone in front of you, it's going to come up with, use your phone to set up Apple Watch. So that's going to come up. Um, let's follow through these prompts. All right, so put on your Apple Watch. So now we've got to figure out how to set up the wristband. So I'm probably going to cut the video 20 minutes later. Maybe I'll have this figured out. Oh, boy. 
All right, so one thing to note, um, you are going to have three of these bands. Um, one is going to look like this, not have any slots in it. The other two will. Now, the difference between these two is that you have a length difference. So if you have giant monster hands, you might want to use the longer one. For the sake of this video, we're going to use this, even though we have childlike hands. And if I'm looking at the directions correctly, I believe you put the um, non-slotted one on the top and then the one that has the holes on the bottom. All right, it's been 20 minutes later. Finally, I got it on. Um, we're now gonna follow through with finishing the pairing session. Put your Apple Watch and hold it up to the camera. iPhone out of date. Your iPhone is out of date. Before you can pair it with your Apple Watch, you'll have to update it to the latest version of iOS, which I thought I did. Barely I didn't. Two gig, sweet. It's gonna be really fun to wait for this to update. Oh, cool, 55 minutes, no problem. All right, we're going to take a brief break and I will be back. What's up guys, we're back. Finally, I uh, got the phone updated, so my apologies. While I was waiting, I put on the shorter band for my baby hands and uh, Let's try to sync these two bad boys up and see what happens. I put that on wrong. We're doing great. Guys, I'm an expert, in case you were wondering. Huge expert. Whoa. Apple Watch paired. Set up Apple Watch. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so while I'm waiting for this to finish connecting, um, there are two other features on the Apple Watch that kind of distinguishes it from the four. Um, so the two other things is an ECG, which is apparently FDA approved. That's an electrocardiogram. Now, I'm a business major, so I'm not going to go into that any further because I don't really know what that is. It pretty much looks at your heart and I'm assuming does some kind of deep analysis. Uh, the third thing that the 5 has that the 4 does not have is a compass on it. Ooh, big deal. But I guess, you know, the small things, you know, I think in the movie Zombie Land it says enjoy the little things in life which is apparently the compass feature on your Apple Watch Series 5. Alright, so looks like we're going to keep going with this. This is very exciting. Please, please don't get too excited, alright? iTunes Store, enter password. Hopefully I know that. Attempt one. Oh, did I get it? No way. Workout group tracking. Sure, why not? Shared settings, sure. Passcode. Don't add passcode. Lame. Activity. If you like, you can provide a little bit of information about yourself to set up the activity app on your Apple Watch now. Absolutely. Birth date, October 31st, 1994. Sex, yes please. Male, height, 5'10". Wow, I guess I'm average. Wow, knows, my, knows how much I weigh too, that's weird. Wheelchair, no. Daily move goal. Okay, let's just, sure, 3.30. Emergency SOS. You can press and hold the side button to call emergency services from your Apple Watch when it's connected to your iPhone. This will also send a message to your emergency contacts. Fault detection can initiate emergency SOS and call emergency services if Apple Watch detects a hard fall. The more physically active you are, the more likely you are to trigger fall detection due to high impact activity that can appear to be a fall. So I guess if I was snowboarding and wore this and took a huge wipe out, maybe it's going to call 911 again. I guess we'll find out. We'll make an update video in the future. Clock faces. Okay, install apps. Sure, install them all. All right, Apple Watch is syncing. Any day now.
Alright guys, looks like this sink is going to be taking a little bit. I think it's at like two out of the what looks like a hundred slashes. So we're gonna take another brief break and uh, we'll get back to it. And we're back again. Alright, so we now have it all synced up. Let's see what else we got going on. Infograph. Alright, so it looks like it lets you pick some different colors, sure. Alright, so it looks like it's walking me through this tutorial right now. Ah, what was that? Okay. Alrighty, so obviously, um, can't really see that that well, but let's just uh, leave my hand here for a second and see if the display just immediately goes to like nothing. So it looks like it's not uh, dimming yet. Um, okay, there it goes. So it looks like it goes to like a black display. And then obviously I'm assuming it's got more customization stuff that we can do to it. So um, I guess for now I'll uh, put the camera right on the watch. Uh, we'll go over a few things and then uh, probably a later date I might do a review update and let you guys know how I'm liking it. Um, yeah, so let's start looking at the up close and personal. All right, guys. Now we're gonna be just taking a quick look through the uh, watch. Um, so as you can see right there, it just dimmed a little bit. All right, so there it goes. Let's see if it goes off on us. Alright, cool. Alright, so let's kind of look into this a little bit. Like I said, I have never had an iWatch before. So this is the first time that I've really looked into it before. Uber, cool. Uh, let's see if we can find Compass. Hey Siri. Go ahead. Open my compass. Alright, cool. So obviously, there's a little bit of the compass taste for you. Check out this heart rate. Alright, cool. Open the settings here. <laughs> Cocoa Beach, I wish. Alrighty, so we're just going to go through uh, what really the activity bars are on here, just because I don't even know myself. So I apparently read his move. Move during the day to burn active calories and meet your goal. Exercise, try to do 30 minutes of activity at or above a brisk walk. Stand up for at least a minute in 12 different hours. And then we're going to get started. All right, so obviously, as you can see, we're making some fantastic progress so far today. Not, but um, there's just a little bit of taste on that. So yeah, um, a little bit soon to tell if I uh, really am a big fan of this. Um, I guess I'll try it out for a week, and then I'll do a more uh, in-depth review of how I like it um, after getting some uh, miles on it, all right? I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked it, 
uh, please feel free to like and subscribe and check out some of my future product reviews. If there's anything that you guys need reviewed in the future, just give me an idea and then I'll check it out myself. All right. Thank you again and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. All right. Bye.